next thing worth talking about is um, settings for jewelry. And I have quite a stash of these here. Mm -hmm. And that's not it. I mean, that's not all. <laughs> So I'm just gonna quickly go through them. So I have them in mainly three different colors, gold, silver, and bronze. This here is bronze, I think. Antique bronze. Yes, brass is red and bronze is dark yellow. So um, I try to store, this is a bit of about the lecture about the storage. <clears throat> I try to store my things um, functionally so if I take one box I know that this box will contain these particular bits this box will contain, contain these um, functions and metal colors it's the best way so this one is multicolored obviously but it contains all their additional things you can use like um, lobster clasps um, endings for your leather cords uh, quite a lot of uh, different um, eye pins and like ball end pins which you use to put them inside the beads and then do the hoop and loop and stuff like that and um, so basically it's it's not the primary things but these are important supplies that you need for every jewelry piece to have then I have the whole box of different size and different colored jump rings um, jump rings are just the little rings that you connect your jewelry pieces your beads your clay beads together with um, the other one I have here is full of chains, and that's also not the whole stash of chains I have. I keep topping it up sometimes, sometimes I buy too much, they doesn't fit in, into these compartments, so I keep them in separate uh, boxes. Then I have these um, fine gold, like gold-plated elements, which I buy from Etsy. Uh, there's a few shops out there like this. You're gonna have to make a search. But if you just search for silver plated or gold plated elements, you'll find quite a lot. So these are the ones I selected. I keep them for my journals as those big golden elements that I place sometimes in my journals. Same comes to silver, but I run out of all silver elements right now, so we don't have many. And my last box actually possesses quite a few... Um, Crystals, corals, but in a shape of beads or seed beads. So I do use that sometimes as additional elements, something I put into clay or something I add dangling on a jewelry piece. So turquoise, coral, mainly mm, hematite and um, aventurine, maybe some jade. So nothing too expensive, but the colors and the things that I accumulated for the years. All this stash, you know, it took me six years of using and reusing and buying again to collect. So if you think like, whoa, she has a lot of things, you should think that I, first of all, spent a lot of money for that. But during the years and years, and when you're buying things, um, not I can't say like in bulk, because buying in bulk for us artists is quite... Um, it's not effective because you're not going to use as much like this in bulk, that in bulk. You're going to have to use quite a lot unless you have the whole factory of little little workers out there helping you out, which I don't. Um, it's going to be running out really, really for a long, for long time. So that's that. Oh, and also the bigger ones that doesn't fit in the box, I keep in little jars like that. So silvers and gold, those little butterflies, all sorts of like, like antique elements. Little secret key, one left, little wings, an owl, so um, the beetle which you saw in my beetle journals. I to do top up sometimes with these designs, I buy them and then I keep them and when the inspiration comes or I need to do a cheeky little journal for sale, um, I use them. You know, I don't want to I, I don't want to sound like I'm showing off or something, but um, as a business and I'm trying, you know, I'm hoping and believing that I I'm heading towards being a professional. Um, sometimes there are times when you have to uh, make things that you don't want, but just for business, for money. If you do that full time, then you have to balance your creativity and earning money. Otherwise, you're just going to end up having a full time job somewhere else and then uh, your creativity as a hobby. I didn't choose that. I choose to be a professional in follow McQuay industry, which is a very, very tough decision. It's hard, and not everyone can do that. 
but I'm trying, so that's why, I'm, that's why I kind of threw this out, saying if I need to do a cheeky little journal for sale, that's what I meant. That's how I earn money.